Joe again here. Um, today we're going to talk about brachiopods. Uh, brachiopods are basically shells, uh, seashells, lived in the ancient tropical oceans. At one time there were about 30,000 different species, uh, give or take, and today there's only about 385 species left in the oceans. Brachiopods are pretty much gone. Brachiopods are shells, um, people call them lamp shells uh, because they kind of look a little bit like a lamp. Um, they're divided into a pedicle valve and a brachial valve. The pedicle valve is the bottom part of the shell. The brachial valve is the top part of the shell. They call it pedicle because many brachiopods uh, have a hole in the, in the uh, back right here. So the pedicle valve is this flat one right here. The brachial valve is the top one right here. So these guys are not uh, perfectly symmetrical. Uh, the bottom is usually smaller than the top. The, the, the halves are not symmetrical. These guys are symmetrical going this way, left and right. They're not symmetrical going the other way. I have an example of a clam here. This one uh, comes from the pear shale uh, in South Dakota, uh, South Dakota, and this is a clam shell. It's not a very good example of one, but basically these guys are symmetrical top and bottom where the brachiopods are not symmetrical top and bottom, they're symmetrical left and right. So clams are not brachiopods, clams are a totally separate uh, group of creatures, they're polysopods. So clams are uh, symmetrical top and bottom, brachiopods are symmetrical left and right. This one happens to be an, an atripa, uh, this one comes from uh, Michigan, and again you can see the bottom part of the valve is nice and flat, top part is nice and rounded. The pedicle valve is the bottom, and it has a pedicle that comes out. The pedicle uh, it's kind of like a stalk. That's what attaches these guys to the bottom of the ocean like this. Then they can open themselves up and they can filter the water and bring in food. So we find lots of these guys wherever you find fossils. And arguably, many people believe that um, there's a lot more brachiopods than any other fossil in the world. Uh, coming from Michigan, we've got lots of corals. We've got lots of brachiopods. It's kind of a, a whatever you think is, is, is right. We've got lots of brachiopods, lots of corals. Both of them really populated the ancient tropical oceans. These guys from about 550 million years ago uh, to present time. Um, this one happens to come from uh, Ohio. Uh, this one is a paraspirifer, Baunacarae. And again, you can see that the bottom valve, the pedicle valve, is a little bit smaller than the uh, brachial valve on top. These guys were often found years ago in Sylvania, and they were found piratized. A lot of people have these piratized brachiopods in their collection. Now, some brachiopods grew fairly large. Other brachiopods were fairly small. Uh, I've got several examples here we're going to talk about. Um, here's another example of a, an atripa, also found in Alpena, Michigan. Again, bottom valve, the pedicle valve, flat, and the top valve, the brachial valve is kind of rounded. The creature lived inside there, and that's where the creature was. It had the muscles, but they would open and close. Um, the actual, the pedicle valve, the bottom valve, actually had what we call teeth. Uh, the, the brachial valve had sockets, so the teeth would fit into the socket, would it, and the muscles would allow the creature to open and close. Uh, several other examples. This one comes from uh, Sylvania, and dang it, um, the light is terrible here, but this one is actually piratized. This one's covered in fool's gold, uh, iron pyrite, and that's what some of the, uh, uh, the paraspirifers look like. Again, this guy's completely covered by pyrite, iron pyrite, which is fool's gold. One of the things that happened when I first moved to Michigan, oh gosh, back about uh, 25, 26 years ago, I asked somebody where the best place to go to find fossils. He said Alpena. I said whereabouts. He said go to the ditch on the corner of Burkholder and Bagley Road. I went to that ditch, went to the bottom of the ditch, and I looked in the water, and this is what I found. This is an almost absolutely perfect mucrospirifer. Uh, gosh, and the sun just came out, so it's kind of bl blaring this out. Let me give me a second here. Close that right down, not nah, much better. So this is a, a mucrospirifer. I found this one in Alpena, Michigan, and it's absolutely perfect. This is the way it looked like uh, when it was alive uh, many millions of years ago. It's got these really long wings. Very rarely do you find these mucrospirifers with those wings intact. This one was absolutely perfect. It was the very first fossil I found here in the state of Michigan. You guys are asking, where do you go to find these things? Well, pretty much any place you find fossils, um, Paleozoic era, um, Devonian, uh, Ordovician, Silurian, uh, Cambrian, you're going to find them. This is a really nice block I found down in St. Leon, Indiana. Uh, this is a block of Hiscobecus. Uh, these are beautiful little shells, and they are in this wonderful limestone block. What I did is I brought the entire block home, I cut it with a saw, and I left them embedded just where they were. Um, this one actually happened to turn out really nice. It's just a bunch of uh, brachiopods uh, on that block. 
But also nearby, I did find the brachiopods that were already out of Matrix, just kind of laying around. It was actually an area um, that was a clay slide, and in that clay, we had lots and lots of these brachiopods. So basically, uh, brachiopods are lamp shells. That's the common name for these guys. Uh, brachiopods, we numbered uh, right around 30,000 species back during the Paleozoic. Um, brachiopods today is only about 385 species left. Uh, they got flat bottom. Uh, they've got a much rounded top. They are, uh, this is a different species, although it looks like the Atripas, this is a different species. This one happens to be a Hebertella. This one also comes from um, uh, Indiana. And again, the pedicle valve, the bottom valve is nice and flat. The brachial valve is very large. These guys would attach themselves to the bottom of the ocean. They'd open up, and that's how they would feed. So a really small, simple, quick thing about brachiopods. Uh, brachiopods are seashells. Uh, they lived in the ancient tropical oceans from about 550 million years ago, and some species are still alive in the ocean today. Y'all have a great time. Get out there, look for fossils, go fossil hunting as much as you can before winter hits. We're up here in Michigan, so uh, it's going to start snowing here pretty quick. Uh, get out there and have some fun and really enjoy um, the, the sport of paleontology. For some of you, this is more of a sport than it is anything else, a hobby. Um, but get out there and have some fun and really go out and look for uh, look for fossils to enjoy a little bit of our, our, our natural na natural heritage, our paleontological heritage. Y'all take care. and we guys, uh, We'll see you guys next week. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.